Hello, this is Dustin with Pro AV School. Today I wanted to do a quick demo for you using Crestron and creating an X panel project so you can quickly debug and test your code without having everything set up. I use this with an MP2E that I have kicking around and I'm able to test a lot of my code and a lot of my programs without even loading them on site just so I know that the page flips and all the functionality is working. So what I've got here is a very simple panel that's set up for a TPS6X and I'm going to show you very, very simple code. Um, this is just for a demo. I've got one interlock with three presses. I've got three feedbacks that are routed to the panel. The presses come from the panel. And it's IPID03. So right now that's loaded and obviously it doesn't work because I don't have the 6x panel connected. So what I'm going to do here is save this project as demo x panel. In this drop down here, I'll pick X panel. Now, what you want to do is click, right click, and go properties. Under web, the IP ID, this is something you'll have to set up in simple windows. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm just going to pick 04. And I'm going to go, my address of my processor locally is 192.168.48.99. Put that in here as well. Then under compile, what I like to do, rather than a browser panel, I do an executable PC panel, and I find that works more reliably because you don't have to worry about security settings in Internet Explorer, which can be a bit of a challenge at times. So now that I've got those two items set up there, I go OK. I can right click, compile project. And you can go find it wherever the directory that you created the project is, um, it creates a subdirectory, demo xpanel.exe, or you can just double click here and it will actually launch it up for you. The directory, I guess. Double click that, and that's my panel. Now it's not going to work because it's not actually connected. The reason it's not connected is there's no IP ID that's waiting for it. So now I'm going to go over to my control system and go to the configuration mode, drop this down under my ENET card, IPID 04, remember I said 04, double click that, and you want to add X panel. So now it's going to receive that, but I still need to program it. So you see in here there's no presses. An easy way to duplicate the programming from an existing panel, right click on that, drag it over, copy all signals and parameters. Now there's going to be some warnings because the X panel doesn't have all the features, um, namely it's going to be the permanent string size. That doesn't matter for what we're doing. So we're just going to leave that as what it is. I'm going to save that. I'm going to press F12, which will compile it. Transfer it. Pick my processor from the list. Send it. The IP table is different. That's because I've added another IP table entry. That's 04 for the X panel. Now it's going to send that. The processor is going to reboot. While it's doing that, I'm going to switch over to my X panel project. I'm just going to go restart. And now you see that the interlock is working and it's switching between the three states. I'm also going to show you quickly using the debugger which I already had loaded just so you can see that signals are actually being asserted. So you see press 2, press 3 is held high, the feedback is high. So this is a very simple way that you can use XPanel to debug any project. Thanks for listening. Uh, go to ProAVSchool.com. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter for tips, tricks, and techniques of the Pro AV industry. Thanks.